this video, uh, we're going to integrate. What we have here is an, an improper integral. The reason it's an improper integral is because we have an infinity symbol here. So if you have an infinity symbol here or a negative infinity symbol here or vice versa, uh, it's called an improper integral. Okay, so uh, to integrate this, we have to make a u substitution. So we'll start uh, by letting u uh, be equal to 1 plus e to the x. And then du, well, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So du will be equal to e to the x with respect to x. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll actually work out the indefinite integral first, and at the end we'll, we'll deal with the limits. So we're actually going to work out e to the x over 1 plus e to the x dx. And at the end, we'll deal with these limits of integration. All right, so if we let u be 1 plus e to the x, then du is e to the x dx. So this simply becomes... Well, this piece here is precisely du, so du. So this is du, and the bottom is just u. Well, you have du over u, or 1 over u times du, so that integrates to the natural log, absolute value of u, plus a constant c, and that's equal to the natural log of and u, we said it was 1 plus e to the x, so we simply get 1 plus e to the x, 1 plus e to the x, plus c. All right, now imagine the problem at hand. So our original problem is this. I'm going to call it something. I'll call it i. So i is equal to, well, it's this. So when you integrate this, without, without these limits, you just get this. But this is definite. So it'll be ln 1 plus e to the x. You don't need the plus c. And we're going from 0 to infinity. All right, now we're just going to apply the limits of integration. So you don't need the plus c because if you put a plus c here, then you subtract, and the c's cancel. So whenever you have a definite integral, you don't need limits of integration. Okay, uh, what does this mean? Well, this means this. Basically, you replace this with the letter b, or any other letter you want. It's called a dummy variable. So b is our dummy variable. And here we have ln, absolute value, 1 plus e to the x. And we're going from 0 to b. Okay, put this in parentheses. So we're taking the limit of this quantity. See, so you're just basically replacing the infinity sign with a b, and then let b go to infinity. So these, these are actually equivalent. Okay, now we're ready to go. Um, let's see, this is going to be equal to, let me come up here, let me erase this. Come up here. So this is equal to, such a small board. Uh, so first we plug in the b, we subtract, then we plug in the zero. So we get limit as b approaches infinity. And then here we get ln. 1 plus e to the b minus, so we plug in b first, uh, then you plug in 0. When you plug in 0, you get e to the 0. e to the 0 is 1, so 1 plus 1 is 2. So you get minus ln 2. And I drop the absolute value sign because the absolute value of 2 is just 2. You can put it there, or you can drop it. Now, when you take this limit, well, this limit is infinity, right? Because what happens here, as b approaches infinity, e to the b approaches infinity. So 1 plus e to the b approaches infinity. So the natural log of that approaches infinity. So again, this quantity here is getting really, 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 really big. So the natural log of that quantity is getting really, 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 really big. Who cares about the ln2? It's just a number. So this ends up being equal to infinity. So that is the answer. Hope that made sense.